my sparkling brains welcome to grade 8 reasoning book once again and today we'll start with chapter number 3 that is cube and dice this is a three dimensional figure and once you solve the question related to cubes and dice it develops your three dimensional visualization and prepare you to work on AI and the simulation with games so you'll become a good architect, you'll become a good designer in three dimension and it's going to enhance your spatial and visual understanding around the space. So very interesting topic and here the teacher has just opened the entire cube which has six faces in this way and asking the students that if they are able to tell that which sides are opposite to each other in this figure and Vijay is a bright child he quickly answers it in a very tricky way I am going to explain it to you so he tells that the top and the bottom over here are the opposite faces Similarly, this triangle and at the rate again are the opposite faces of the cube and this middle one and this middle one are another pair of opposite faces of the cube. Now question for you, can you try making the opposite faces of these nets of the cubes? Here we try, this is the first combination. This is 3 and 2 making another pair of opposite faces and we have this 4 and 5 in the opposite sides of another cube. We have more questions. Can you try it for alphabets? Very nice. P and J. The first combination is absolutely correct. Try the another one. R and D. Wonderful. And the last combination is A and M. Time to clap for you. Now we'll talk about the variety of questions that you will come across when you solve the questions based on cubes and nets. So first thing you need to remember is that cube has six faces. It has eight vertex and 12 edges. Now first category of question will be if a cube is cut by making specified number of cuts and the directions in which the cuts are made may be or may not be given and you have to find the number of identical pieces resulting out of the given cuts which are made on the given cube. The second category is that the number of identical pieces in which the cube is cut is already given and you have to find that how many number of cuts were made to get those identical pieces. And the third category of question is we have a larger bigger cube and it is painted on all its six surfaces with the same or different color and it is cut into smaller cubes then you have to remember that the number of cubes so obtained will be equal to the side of the larger cube cube of 8 divided by the side of the smaller cube and cube of it is calculated then the two things are divided Further, if you want to find the number of smaller cubes which have three painted faces, that means the entire cube is dipped into some color and when you divide it by cutting into smaller pieces, then how many cubes will you get which will have three faces colored? And the answer you will get is every time eight. And these eight are the eight corners of the cube. Four top corners and four are the bottom corners. Then number of smaller cubes with two faces. We use the formula that is n minus 2 multiply the number of edges. I told you the number of edges. Yes, that was 12. So we get 12 times 
n minus 2 will be the number of faces with two faces painted. And when you want to find that how many cubes will have only one face painted, then it will be 6 times of n minus 2 squared. So once you remember these formulas, the questions becomes easy. And the next thing is number of smaller cubes which have no painted face, the formula is n minus 2 whole cube. And where n is to be calculated. Now what is n? n is the ratio of the size of the bigger cube divided by the size of the smaller cubes. So suppose you have a bigger cube with 8 centimeter of all the sides and you are cutting it into 2 to 2 centimeter each then 8 divided by 2 n becomes 4. Now what is dice? When you have some numbers embossed on every face of the cube and it has 6 faces. So these 6 faces have different numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We call them dice. Now we will solve some questions based on dice. So suppose you have a dice, you are rolling it and you want to know that what will be the number opposite to 3. Here you need to remember a rule that the sum of digits on opposite sides of the dice is always 7. So 7 minus 3 is 4. Your 4 is correct option. Now let's take more example here. You have to find the number opposite to 6. So here how many dice are given? We have 2 dice and we'll see that in 2 dice what number is common. We have 1 common in both the dice. So let's start from 1 and move in a clockwise direction. We write down 1, 3 and 6, right? Now from here we write 1, 5 and 2. So it simply indicates that these are two opposite sides of a cube. These are two opposite sides of the cube. And which one is left? 4, 4 and 1 are opposite sides. Now you need to know what is opposite to 6. Can you help me here? Perfect. It is 2. So we get 2 as the right answer. Let's take more question. Here we have 3 dice given. Now the previous rule will not work here. Something special has to be remembered. We'll find 2 dice where only one number is common. So if you look at 5, 4 and 1 and 4, 6 and 3, do you have one number common? Yes, that is 4. So we'll be picking the two dice and take a clockwise movement. 4, 5 and 1. Now from here, let's write 4, 3 and 6. Now the question is, what is opposite to 6? Can you help me? Great going, that's 1. We got the right answer here. Now we take the similar example where numbers are not given but we have alphabets embossed on the dice and we need to check that which alphabet is just opposite to C. Let's look at the first two dice and remember that it must have only one alphabet common. And if it doesn't work, we'll check another two dice with the one alphabet common. So in the first dice, we have C, D, E. The second one has B, A, C. Only one alphabet C is common. Start checking from C. Move towards the right direction in the clockwise. We write down C, D, E. Now from this C, let's move in the clockwise direction. What do you get? C, very good. Then we write B and A. 
so we analyze e and a are opposite sides b and d are opposite sides and what is left here we say a b c d e and f so f and c are the opposite sides and we get the answer e so this is how we solve the questions with three dice now we come to little more higher level we have four dice here so again we'll be implementing the rule that the dice should have only one number common looking at the first two dice we have nothing in common right look at the second and the third dice do you see something common yes we do have three common so starting from 3 we write down 3 6 and 1 and from here start from 3 we write down 3 2 and 4 we got 4 and 1 opposite sides 6 and 2 are opposite sides and 3 and 5 are opposite sides the question is what is opposite to 3 yay we got 5 as the correct answer. So in this way we come across different categories of question. Now let's look at one more beautiful example. We are provided a cube with 10 centimeter and it is cut into small cubes with 2 centimeter blocks right. So we are cutting it into small blocks of 2 centimeter and once it is cut down the question that comes to you is you need to find the total number of cubes obtained. So we will first divide 10 divided by 2 that's 5 and 5 cube becomes 125. So the right option is C. Coming to the next one the number of cubes with only one face painted. You remember the rule we started that the number of one faces painted will be 6 times n minus 2 square. So here we have already calculated n as 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 square is 9 and 9 6 times gives you 54. We got 54 as the right answer. Read the next question now. The number of cubes with two faces painted. So looking for two faces painted, we had a formula 12 times n minus 2. So 5 minus 2 is 3. So 12 times 3 gives you 36 and 36 is your correct answer. The next question is number of cubes with three faces painted and we had a fixed answer for it that is 8. Let's look at the next question. The question says you need to find the number of cubes with no face painted. So the formula said it is n minus 2 cube. So 5 minus 2 is 3 and 3 cubes become 27. And we have a last question that do we have any cube which has all the 6 faces painted? No, so the answer is 0. Coming to the next example, what is the maximum number of identical pieces of a cube that can cut by 4 cuts? So, first thing we have to remember is that 2 cuts divide the cube into 3 faces. Now, we make another horizontal cut. So, this 3 times 2 turns to 6. And another horizontal cut, again double of this, we get 12 parts. So 12 becomes your right answer. Let's read the next question. On the basis of given figure, you have to identify the number which comes in the place of x. Do you remember the rule of moving in the clockwise direction? Let's see, 6 is a common face. We write down 6, 3 and 1 and starting from here we write down 6, 4 and 2. So 1 and 2 are opposite sides, 3 and 4 are opposite sides and 6 and 5 becomes opposite sides. 
so we here get 3 as the opposite side of 4 and we say that 3 is the right option still we have more interesting example here so did you remember i told you that when we have a dice the opposite sides of the dice always have a number 7 as the sum of the dots here you have to identify that which of these figures is not correct so just observe that this is 5 and this is 3 5 plus 3 is 8 5 plus 1 is 6 this seems the correct one but here this 6 and 7 these adjoining sides cannot be the sides of the dice again over here if you observe 4 plus 3 is 7 these should be the opposite sides again this one is wrong am i right saying this and over here this 5 and 2 make 7 again which should not be the adjoining sides these should be the opposite sides so this one is again wrong so b becomes your right answer now let's look some more interesting example you have to choose the box that is similar to the box which is formed from the given sheet of paper now did you remember we started that how the net gets converted into the cube and we say this dot and this circle should be the opposite sides similarly this shaded and blank part should again be the opposite sides and these two blank parts should be the opposite pair of the cube so formed so looking at these three combinations we come to the conclusion that only second and fourth can be the right option to form the cube so form with the help of this net right moving ahead now it's your time to solve the questions based on dice cubes and nets so we have already started about different formation just remember the rules how the sum of opposite side of dice is formed how the opposite sides of the dice opens up in the form of net and how we can check by remembering the movement in the clockwise direction of the similar number that exists and you'll be able to solve these questions with quite ease so are you ready to begin great going all the best your time begins now